hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Halloweens episode. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. If you're new here, then you found me right smack dab in the beginning of Halloweens, where every Monday and Friday we watch a scary movie together in night vision, but on Wednesdays, a little more lighthearted because I am indeed a little scaredy cat. So today, being Wednesday, no night vision and something a little more light-hearted. Well, hey Beans, thanks for joining. If you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, today is Elvira, Mistress of the Dark from 1988. This movie was incredibly requested last month during the live and many people said that I need to be her for Halloween. I just saw this photo on Twitter and um, well let's see if it's true. Dolly Parton, you already know, I love her. We got Elvira in the yin yang with Dolly Parton, so I'm guessing same vibe but dark maybe i don't know very excited regardless i don't know i don't know who she is what she does but it does remind me of the song from the oak rib uh who the oak ridge boys elvira um, ba, ba, um, ba, ba, mau, mau. <laughs> and if you don't know what that song is i highly suggest you look it up because it's just a good song ha ha silver away anyways okay that's not what this is about let's get right on into this Halloween's episode, which is the 1988 Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. <laughs> Playing nine? Is this you? What is that thing? What, what are we doing? The gal with the enormous. Yours cruelly. Y'all wanted me to be her for Halloween. I am missing a couple of things. <laughs> also, her hair kind of looks like a very long extended mullet. Mr. Hooter. This is. Uh, oh, does Mr. Hooter need to talk to Elvira and her assets? Ladies back home call me Longhorn. Maybe you can prove it. Picks or it's not real. Looks like it's gonna be you and your trusty old right hand. Sounds like. <laughs> Granny not! <laughs> you said she was a <laughs> The desk fell apart, but her wig flew off. Complications, maybe, but never a problem. All right. Uh, burned a bridge too soon. Are you nuts? <laughs> She's completely closed. What has she been taken off by behind the curtain? Oh, I didn't even know I had a good aunt, much less a great one. <laughs> It's of my inheritance! Is that timing or what? Girl, you're not supposed to break the fourth wall like that. I bequeath my entire fortune. Wow, she got everything? Right. I need one of those! Did you need one of those, Elvira? We were waiting on that money to fall. Also, how do they keep her dress? Right, That's a lot of fashion tape. One to keep those there and to keep the dress there. Go ahead. Oh, and that wasn't real. Go, Manny. Tell them I should have known by the way it was a game show. Oh, I love her nails. That steering wheel's bitching! Her license plate says kick ass. Now, you're not supposed to be picking up pitch hikers. Uh, you know what? She can pitch up. <laughs> she can pick. The joke's not even funny anymore. Never mind. She can pick up pitch hikers. She can handle herself. I got it out. Her front grill is a spider web. I love that. Ah, self-service. This is when that started. He's not gonna look up to see he's got a beautiful lady to help. Get it, I guess. Her boobs on the windshield. Stop it. I like this song about chicken fried steak. Oh no, he's gonna flick a butt in the gas, isn't he? He got a little wedgie. He's doing a lot of picking today between his nose and his butt crack. <laughs> she's not gonna do anything. She's not gonna turn around or nothing. Oh, I just realized she has garlic hanging from her from her rearview mirror. So where they're filming right now, I saw that on the Warner Brothers tour when we went to LA. She's um she's from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and the other one. And the other one. You know who I'm talking about. 
Well, I never. Yeah, and you never will with them soup cans on your head. <laughs> Lord, and I just realized her split goes all the way up above her hip bone. Good God, I love that for her. Listen, you can see the majority of them anyway. Nice tips. <laughs> Where's the lie? Sorry, we're book solid. Oh, wow. Way to judge a book by its cover. I know what you pinko, heavy metal weirdos. What does pinko mean? I don't know what that is. I used to get the same line about makeup from the nuns at the orphanage. Of course, I was only eight. I want to know more about her backstory at the orphanage, please. The bowling alley. Well, that gets real wild on league night. <laughs> oh, hell Gee. yeah. We love a good league night at the bowling alley. Patty's titty bowl? Or is that tidy? Do you want a virgin? Maybe, but uh, I'll have a couple of drinks first. <laughs> I got something to show you. Ooh, what? I left my magnifying glass at home. Boom, roasted. I really thought she stabbed him. Ooh, that's slick. Crawl right back in if you know what's good for you. Yeah, okay, Elvira is so that, pretty. Like, look at her nose, her jawline. It looks like you've got some competition, Patty. She looks like a Patty. So, what brought you to Falwell? Um, my car. <laughs> <laughs> I married Satan. How about the sequel? I married Satan too. That sounds like a show right up my alley. Think of anyone who I'd rather squeeze into my. She's using a lot of eyebrows. Agenda. Squeeze into her agenda. <gasps> he left without kissing her. Oh my god, that's so funny. Also, I love her eyeliner. I want to learn how to do the... in the... You know, I didn't use any words, but you knew what I was saying. Sorry I'm late, but then so is my aunt. <laughs> I, I, had to think, I had to think so hard about that joke. That's so funny. Uncle Vinny! Get this A cozy, off of me. cozy hug right in her little dirty pillows. Yeah, really. Let's get going before somebody else dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's some shit I would say. Lay it on me, Americana. Big bucks, big bucks. Uh, it's gonna be something awful, isn't it? A house, a dog, and a book. She got a dog! I leave the rest of my estate and holdings. Of which there is none. So she did not really like her brother that much. I need a house of Falwell like I need a padded bra. <laughs> In the mood. Oh, it's you, Uncle Vinny. Yes. Also, how much hairspray was used to keep her hair that voluminous and that still when she walks? It's okay. My appearance is kind of a shock to everybody. At least she knows. Yeah, sure, I'll do it for 50 bucks. Oh. OMG, she thinks she's a prostitute. <laughs> Well, that is a cute little house that she inherited. But your house is over there. Oh, it looks like it would be right up her alley. The next thing you know, they're teaching sex education in the schools and they're passing out condoms. And you can't be having that. Like I said, the house needs a little something. A lot of something. Multiple somethings. <gasps> Aw, there's a cute baby. Your great aunt's recipe book. She's like a redheaded version of Elvira. Would you be interested in selling? Does a chicken have a pecker? Of course I'm interested. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Look at that good baby. Pet her. I'm both nervous and excited to see this dog. It's a choice that you made. I wouldn't have made that choice on that puppy dog, but... Oh, so the dog hides the book. So the dog knows something's up with that book. Look at that craftsmanship. Oh, just a little wood glue. Fix that right up. Thinks he's a pit bull. Okay, Uncle Vinny's creepy. And the dog knows something's wrong with him. <sighs> Good thing I'm not going to be here very long. Neighbors would never get any sleep. <laughs> Who's the most drop-dead gorgeous one of all? <laughs> get it, girl. We love self-confidence. <laughs> Y'all gonna slip and fall off the side of this house. Look at her. Get it, girl. Make sure your flash isn't on. She's a skinny legend. 
Good for her. Haven't you boys got someplace else to hang around? Her eye makeup is still on while she's using a face mask. That's so funny. Excuse me, ma'am. What do you sleep on? And since when did your hair get so long? Sleep in, not on. I think I said that wrong. I love that she still has a full face of makeup on. Well, this has turned into quite the adventure. I'm preparing myself for a jump scare. I even just said it and it still got me. Cuddle that baby! I don't understand people who won't let their inside animals on furniture. A gothic moo moo, I love that. Oh, she got dressed and everything. A little tool belt. Dead ass! Is she fixing it up to sell it or is she fixing it up to live in? She was just helping. Listen, I understand that you think Elvira is a bad influence, but at least Robin wasn't out doing drugs. She was renovating a historic home. Fabulous. If that's what you want, that's good. I confiscated this. Ah, uh, not their titty picture. One woman Sodom and Gomorrah, if you will. <laughs> that's hilarious. What if she decides to settle here? Well. If she's morally up. Hold on, she still hasn't looked at the recipe book, and I still want to know what's in the book. Honey, I'd do anything to get rid of this rat trap. Don't say that. Oh my god! I told you to be- I said that- I knew he was a weirdo. Aw, she's doing the best she can, and nobody's taking the time to one, talk to her, two, go look at the house, probably because you painted it seven different colors, but that's my opinion. I would be a virus friend. And I would really want to pet her dog. What'd you think I was gonna say? Heck, I was just six inches from selling this house today. That's still funny. That's so funny. That that word is one hundred percent supposed to be tidy bowl, not titty. Found these panties. Try one. They're edible. Edible panties are really good. I accidentally ate a pair one time when I was a kid. I, did, I didn't know that they were underwear. I just saw that it was a gummy. She is doing the best she can. Oh no, that's bad luck. Good for you for going around. Oh, oh, it's Bob. I didn't realize that was him. How's your head? I haven't had any complaints yet. She's gonna get on that ladder with a split up to her nipple and ain't nobody gonna look up that dress. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? But now I see the E look like an F. Here, let me try. Oh, Elvira went right into it. But I have some of the classic films of all time in the trunk of my car. Is it I Married Satan? I hope it's that one. I was gonna say, who really has that many books? But okay, those are clearly not real books. That's a that's a hidden door, Ashley. With an elevator inside? Nice. Well, what is going on here? What kind of sacrificial something are we doing today? So it's not a recipe book, it's a spell book. Bob's Theater, and one of the worst movies ever made. <laughs> I mean, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Like, I'm bad, Jamal, you know it. I'm sorry, Avira, what? Wind up hanging myself in the oven? Ma'am, how are you gonna hang yourself in the oven? Two simple words. Titties. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, Patty, don't be snitching on people. Patty, do not be snitching on people. They really did make a montage of people putting on their shoes. They really did. Yeah, make sure they're in their assigned seats. Oh, it's Patty. Body is covered in gold glitter. Could you die? That's gonna take him years to clean up off the stage. Guaranteed standing ovulation. 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 That's so funny. Okay. No, not not the boobs in the curtain. That's so funny. Okay, was Elvira the first movie reactor? I'm pretty sure she was. 
she even has on ankle warmers? Oh, I love this song. Oh, she has on a leotard. All right, bitch, yes, we love to see it. What is that? That's not the glitter. What did she replace it with? What did Patty replace it with? Her life. Gas, why well, she got tubs of gas? Last thing I... Okay, that was a fun transition. What's that perfume you're wearing? Super unleaded. Don't smoke. She bathed in the gas to get the black stuff off? Oh, y'all not sitting very close. That's not very romantic of you. Ah, oh, back when TV stations used to turn off at a certain time. Get it, get it, girl. Get you some of that bob. Let's go get something to eat. There's an all-night truck stop out on the interstate. You don't see that four-course meal right in front of you, my guy? Oh, casserole. Mmm, that sounds good. Yeah, that's good. Makes sense to me. All right, so the recipe book is a spell book. One Idraziba. A worm. A lot of worms, okay. Absolutely not, absolutely not, no thank you. Oh my God, squirt cheese fixes everything, swear to God. Make a nice little crust to go on top, some little crispies. It's soup. Mm, the word soup is questionable, girl. Thank you. Oh my god, that reminds me when we went out to dinner one night in LA. The wait the waiter pulled the chair out for me, but Blake got it was <laughs> What the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? Y'all just need to go to McDonald's or something. No more cooking for her. What are you doing? Give me that cookbook! Uh anyways, as I was saying, when uh we went to LA one time a waiter pulled the chair out for me and Blake didn't understand that it was for me, so he sat down and the waiter was like Okay. <laughs> Wow, that story was not a good one. Gonk, you in here? Where did the word gonk come from? Like, I know that's the dog's new name, but why did she think of the word gonk? Open the trunk. Open the thing that it's on. I think he wants you to open the trunk. I agree with Bob. Ah, all her witchy utensils. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Bob, haven't you ever seen any old Roger Corman movies? No. Pets that can change into almost anything. <gasps> Is Beans my familiar? The baby has her makeup on. That is so funny. That is hilarious. I <laughs> can't handle it. Yeah, and you heard what your aunt said. He can't get his hands on it. And you saw what your recipe made. When I'm actually descended from like a major metaphysical celebrity. Hell yeah, girl. Time to step into your power. Sells bariki moolah. That's exactly what I need. Lots of moolah. I'm starting to think that's not the words. You don't know the words. Stop saying the words and using the things. Oh, Bob. Do you need a moment, baby? Oh. I'll give you a moment if you need it. Oh, oh, no thanks. No thank you. Don't need that. And it burst into flames. <gasps> She's finally gonna get up. Good for her. Yes, I think it's something we can all be proud of me for. I think it's something we can all be proud of me for. That's so funny. It just hit me. I see you've made your famous tic tac pie. That looks like my cooking. Oh, it didn't do anything. It didn't make a little worm man this time. I must have screwed it up when they substituted the philembra with some hamburger helper. That'll do it. You're never supposed to substitute the philangra. Maybe it'll give him like raging diarrhea or something. Oh, is this an aphrodisiac casserole? Is this about to turn into an orgy? <laughs> is this face taken? Well, you know what they say, as long as I got a face, you got a place to sit, you know? She put mustard on his ear and is licking it off. Well, to quote when Harry met Sally, I'll have what she's having. Oh, Patty coming in. Oh, you don't be stepping in on Elvira's man. Let me show you how a real woman does it. Mm. Oh, they fighting over Bob. <laughs> Punched her so hard, her top came off. I demand that the council remove this pervert. Girl, you're the one that sat on somebody's face. 
Not a rider out of town on a big fat rail. She might enjoy that too much. I was going to say, this sounds a little more sexual than you intended, sir. Any townsperson from practicing the ancient arts of spell casting. Uh, sir, can we talk about your little hidden dungeon elevator? I'm entitled one phone call and a strip search. Entitled to a strip search? <laughs> Look, it's my only chance. Quick, run to the house and you're get it. You're arrested. Okay. Arrested. You're arrested for witchcraft, and you're gonna ask for your spell book to perform witchcraft. <gasps> They're making a tiny stake to burn the baby because Gonk is a familiar. Who do we Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> White flesh will burn and sizzle. Oh my god. He really did just go in for the handfuls, huh? I love the fact that they made a belt for a rat. Can we use both? Yes, we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> what you're doing is wrong. Wow, Patty's Patty? coming to save the day. Faster if you light it in several places. Oh. Bob, I need you to figure out something, cause she, the flames are getting very close. And with as much hairspray on top of her head, she gonna go up a real fast. So how do we activate the ring, Elvira? How do we activate it? Well, that worked out really well, but now they really can convict you on being a witch. And now they saw it with their own eyes, in front of God and everybody. That's so fun. I love that. Bob, what are you gonna do against a man who has witchcraft on his side? The amulet could not protect your mother. Wow, are you really gonna bring her mom into this? You flung the ring at him? Why did you do that, Elvira? And you're just gonna run and not even try to get it back? Ah. Uh, okay, legs! Okay, you know what? Uncle Vincent's kinda scary. I am impressed. Way to go, titties. Ooh, he's got a big ol' oh, honey, you're dripping. What is that? Is that leeches? Where's the other creepy guy? The f me. Ooh, get the big axe thing. Ah! It chopped his hand off. It chopped his hand off. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say the severed hand crawling across the floor is kind of gross. Yes! Okay, so she got it off in time. Good for her. Good, 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 good. Wow, and one hit of her power got rid of dude. Get the book. Get the book and go, girl. You're gonna die. All that hard work put into that house just for it to burn. <gasps> Gog has a neck brace on. Just not the kind of girl whose dreams come true. Keep fighting, Elvira. I believe in you. Uh -oh. Here comes the lynch mom. Yeah. What's everybody mad about now? We were wrong about you, and we're sorry. A little too late. Her house is literally burnt to a crisp. Just a minute, Leslie. Shut up, you old bag. <laughs> Good for you, Leslie, standing up to your mean old wife. She really did it! I can't tell if she's really in that outfit or not. It doesn't look real, does it? Okay! Yes, bitch. I love this. Yes. Yes. Ooh, no spider. No thank you. Ah, I was here for that little rap break. Laura, she about to show her a whole ass crack. Spider titties. Oh girl, only one spinning. Did you mean for that to happen? <gasps> She's doing one at a time. Oh my god. The sheer talent. Get it, girl. Is that it? Is that the end of it? Let's talk about it. Let me just address one thing. It is that I got some comments not too long ago saying that I should be Elvira for Halloween. And listen, I am missing a very important pair of assets 
to be her. The same reason why I'm never, you know, Ariel like the Little Mermaid. Because I don't think I could fill her seashells. This was so much fun! Okay, the few jump scares, like the four jump scares that are in this movie, really got me. So, just proving the point that it can be well lit in here. It can be like a fun, silly, goofy movie and I still get scared, number one. Number two, this was so funny. This was so witty. I, this is just so funny. It was so quick witted and some of the jokes were like dun -dun -dun jokes but then some of them were like little joke grenades. She pulled the pin through it and then you had to wait a couple minutes for it to go off. A lot of double entendres. Is that how I use that word? A lot of double meaning. Anyways, this movie was so funny and we love a woman who knows what she got and she can work it. You know what I'm saying? Elvira is the perfect mix. Har har funny jokes, thought provoking jokes, with minor few jump scares to just get you every now and then. And I had just a great time. I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into. I guess because of like Plan 9, you know, and Ed Wood. Plan 9 wasn't exactly the best movie ever made. So I didn't know how well Elvira was gonna be because you know, for Ed Wood to include her in Plan 9, I was like, ugh. This was great. This was so funny. And there were also like little funny things like like the baby her being dropped off at the doorstep and then when you see baby her the baby has the makeup done and the fingernails painted black like her. That was so funny. But also it was so cute to find out that the big dog that dropped off baby Elvira was the same familiar that was Gonk. And look she made lemonade out of <coughs> lemons and she got rewarded with her Uncle Vinny's inheritance and then she went to Las Vegas and she'd be shaking them titties in a spider bra and just living her best life and I'm just so happy for her. Five out of five stars. This is such a fun movie. Every year Blake and I do a fall day where we decorate the house for fall and we go buy pumpkins and we paint them and buy mums to put on the steps like we're, we're doing all this and I'm also very excited because this is our first Halloween in the house and we live in like a proper neighborhood with a lot of kids. Me and Hubbin have to dress up for Halloween and I don't know. We gotta do something. I don't know what I want to be. I think I thought about suggesting uh, Morticia and Gomez Adams from the Adams Family because Hubbin loves that movie. Why am I telling you all this? Doesn't matter. Avira Mistress of the Dark, five out of five stars. A great first lighthearted film for Halloween. And I am so glad I watched it. Thank you for watching. And be sure to like, subscribe, stick around because Halloween is just now rolling into gear. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the youtube -iverse. And I'll be right back here on Friday with a Millennial Movie member request, which is American Werewolf in London. So I'll see you right back here in a couple days. Like, subscribe, be sure to stick around. I'll see you then. Bye.